I have award-winning pianist, songwriter, and vocalist Marsha Ball on the line. Welcome, Marsha. Oh, well, thank you. It's just a pleasure to be speaking with you. You're going to be in our neck of the woods. You're going to be performing on Friday, September 8th at Rockport Center for the Arts. We're very excited about that, but for listeners, it's sold out. But we're so excited to talk to you about your coming visit. When was the last time you performed this far south in Texas? I have played some outdoor shows, festivals in Port Aransas, Mm -hmm. and oh, back in the day, I used to play the club in Port Aransas. I used to play Corpus Christi a lot. It's been a while, though, since I've been to the Rockport area, Fulton, Port A, Corpus Christi. I'm so glad to be coming back. Well, we're looking forward to having you. And Marsha, what do you think is the farthest away in the world that you've ever played? Well, I guess Australia would probably be farthest. Um, Wow. There's a great festival down there on the Gold Coast that I played a couple times. Terrific Easter time festival, which means great weather, except that it almost always rains. (laughs) So uh, I would always wish that I had brought my, what they call Blundstone, my my boots. That's probably the farthest I've I've ever been. To Europe a few times, Norway and Scandinavia, uh, all around. Nice. That is definitely far away. Marsha, you've been performing for decades. How has your music changed over time? Well, um, I think that probably the biggest change was when I started writing songs. I played country music in the 70s here in Austin as part of the progressive country movement that was happening down here, the Willie Nelson, Asleep at the Wheel, Jerry Jeff Walker world. And when I started with my own band in the mid-70s, I was still doing cover material. But along the way, about that time, I started to write. And that really changed everything about what I was doing. It also took me back to my roots, which are really Louisiana-based. I grew up, you know, on the Texas-Louisiana state line. I was born in Orange, Texas, because there was no hospital in Louisiana. I have deep roots in Louisiana and a grandmother who lived in New Orleans and relatives in Lafayette and Baton Rouge and Thibodeau and all down there. So I was always immersed in that music, that kind of soul music that was part of the Texas-Louisiana Gulf Coast sound. So when I started writing music, I was writing in that style. So that's how my world evolved. I guess it still is pretty much that. And then along the line, you married watercolor artist Gordon Fowler. Do y'all create in a shared space? Well, he's not just a watercolor artist. He's actually a wonderful oil painter as well. And he did pastels for a long time, although it's kind of toxic. So he's let the pastels go, and he's a fabulous pastel artist. We work in a building out behind our house, and my studio is downstairs, and His studio is upstairs, and probably mine's downstairs because there's a grand piano in there, and we (laughs) couldn't get it upstairs. (laughs) So, but he's got a wonderful studio up there with big windows, north-facing windows, and you know, it's just a great studio. Art takes a special place and takes up a space in people's hearts and souls. Do you think that y'all's mutual love of artistic expression fosters a patience and understanding for one another? Well, yeah, I do. I mean, on days when, you know, I'd wake up and think, you know, what am I going to do today? And I'd walk in the kitchen and there would be a new painting leaning against the wall. You know, something that Gordon had just done that was just so beautiful and inspiring. It's been that way. And I think, you know, he's he's also a musician. He's a guitar player and he was in a band in high school and he still plays music. And uh, I think that what I do inspires him too. I'm sure that it's a mutual admiration and mutual encouragement club over there. Does this combined exhibition, because he will be exhibiting his art at the Rockport Center for the Arts, and that will be extended beyond your concert. Your concert is Friday, September 8th, but his art will be staying up at the Rockport Center for the Art for a bit. It'll be up on Thursday, and um, then the event is on Friday evening, and then it It'll be up on Saturday, too, for the art walk, but it'll be up almost all day, Saturday. And is this combined exhibition and performance, is that like a new model for y'all's future endeavors? Is this something... Oh, I hope so. 
Nice. <laughs> it's really kind of the first time we've done this. Oh. I would say that, you know, back in the early 90s, we had a club here in Austin called Wazona Rosa, Garden Openings Club, and a uh, Mexican restaurant. It was just so much fun. And he painted every every surface, the walls, the ceiling, the tabletops were done by many artists from all over our part of the country. Wonderful, famous artists like Frank Talbert and Francis Pavi and Guy Duke. And then I was playing music, too. So we really, I think that would have been our first collaboration. The combination of art in the club, music in the club, and then, of course, that great food. <laughs> A great combination. Marsha, we are so excited to have you performing on Friday, September 8th at Rockport Center for the Arts. Again, it is sold out, but we encourage people to go and see your husband Gordon Fowler's works that will also be on display at Rockport Center for the Arts. Looks like it'll be up Thursday, Friday, and I think it might be extended to Saturday. So yes, it will. we encourage our listeners to go to Rockport Center for the Arts to see this great art exhibit and for those of you who already have tickets to the Marsha Ball concert we know you're going to enjoy it so much. Marsha it's just been a pleasure speaking with you and I can't wait to see you perform. Thank you so much Dee Dee. I've been speaking with Marsha Ball. She's an award-winning pianist, songwriter, and vocalist. She will be performing at Rockport Center for the Arts on Friday September 8th at 7 30 to a sold-out crowd and her husband Gordon Fowler's art will be on display Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this week.